Hello and welcome back to Lemming Sue the Tribes. Today we're gonna be doing level 7 and 9 of the Space Tribe. And the first one of those is going to be level 7. Gosh, it's full of lemmings. This level, now yeah, it's not too bad compared to the next level which we will be playing, level 8, which is completely insane. Um, it's actually not too bad, but there are a few things. But now, to this level, which is level 7. As we see here, not too big of a map. And we start here in the upper left corner. We usually start in the upper left corner nowadays, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, the first things we're gonna do here... Uh, when I get my hands warm, it's so damn cold right now. Anyway, first thing we're gonna be making a runner out of this guy. And then we jump. That way he'll end up on uh, the ledge over here, to the right. Next, I think, yeah, we're gonna be using a platformer, because we really need to turn him around. This one is good enough, so now we continue and let him fall. He will not die. It's just a, a quite a quite a bad fall, but not too bad. So next, next we fail and continue again, because uh, as you see, it's impossible for me anymore to <laughs> be able to change. I had the wrong thing selected. Sorry, guys, but those things happen in this game. Okay, let's do that again. Especially with the runners, that's what that's when these things happen. Mighty frequently. Okay, now we let him go down. Make sure we have a stacker selected. Uh, we seem to have. So I'm just thinking here. Should we go closer to the Okay, somewhere around here. You can do it earlier as well if you don't feel comfortable doing it this way. <coughs> Let's see when he's ready here. Let's do one more. The thing here is, uh, I have not um, checked or researched if they can do it uh, if they survive the fall, fall here. But somewhere around here, you start building a bridge to the left. I think it will take two bridges, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it will take two bridges. Next. We just continue, he jumps down here. Now we can actually save these guys. We go and forge ahead a path. We select the bazooka here. And somewhere around here. It's really not very important where you do it. He will anyway run back and depending on how you do it of course. Somewhere around here. Now we just hope we fast forward one one more time. And hope that it goes through here. Let's see. It should go through. Yes, it will. Next, over here, and we use the lonely stomper, the lone stomper, right? That is. Yeah, don't they don't splatter. Next is just a fast forward. This is a very simple level. Doing it this way will work always. If you don't make such mistakes as I did, having the wrong task selected and all that. Right, so there we go. Excellent. Now let's check the next level. I really don't like this next level. It's called Odyssey. 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 Yeah, and it's pretty bad. Uh, as you can see there in the left corner, we don't have too many tasks. And we'll be using all but one, I think. This level is truly a pain in the ass, because you have to do a few things that are a bit random. But first of all, let's check this level. There is a new novelty thing here, and that's teleporters, as you can see here. You'll see how they work. Uh, and yeah, there's a small maze here, which we have to navigate, and... Yeah, there's a chain of doom here. I really hate these things. And that's why this level is so pain in the ass. Anyway, let us begin. The first things we have to do, and I might, might as well say here immediately that I will probably be failing with this a few times, and if it's too ma too much, I will just uh, edit it. Anyway, we wait that two dudes get past, then we use the stacker, and we might as well use the shimmer to jump back. 
The next thing is the most painful in this level. We have to wait for this dude to go here and turn back, somewhere around here, pause immediately. Then you have to be playing around with the fan. This is something that I truly hate, but this time it went decently enough. Alright, forget what I said. It failed. It went pretty good, but I shouldn't be more um, patient right there. Now let's see if um, I can do that same thing again. If I can replicate it. I'll just fast forward the majority of the, this section here. Because this is so crucial. Okay, now I've been able to replicate it quite a few times. Let's see if... Uh... Oh damn, that went pretty far, if you ask me. Let's... Immediately when we land, we have to use a stacker. And I don't really like what this is looking like. You want to land somewhere around this section here. Let's see if this is a complete, complete failure. I think it is. No, it's not. If it would have been one more pixel to the left, one or two pixels, it would have been a failure. But yeah. Next, we use a laser blaster. We need to be releasing these guys. And the thing is, it's, it's not too easy because you have to be splitting these dudes up perfectly. Now we can just ignore the rest of what is happening here on the left side. So, we go ahead and make this guy a rock climber. And now we have to be um, focused once more. Let's fast forward a small bit. And here's a very important, very important section. Somewhere around this edge, you have to use the jump. And he has to be a rock climber, obviously. Next, uh, I usually use this pixel. You can see this yellow or orange pixel as a landmark from where to jump. It makes things much easier. Next we just fast forward. He will eventually make his way down here, climbing unnecessarily. And as you can see we have only one thing left here. Make sure you don't make him a uh, slider, because that will possess some new problems later on. Um, or give you plenty of trouble, and you have to probably restart the level. You will soon see why. Now we can just fast forward, he will end up in this teleporter here. You will see the pattern when you play the level, but he will end up here. Okay, now he arrived. We are almost finished with this level. Now let's wait for something around here in the middle. Use the final laser blaster to release all the dudes. As you should have uh, probably noticed, when, you, when I released these guys, they went into this teleporter. And that, uh, that leads here. So they all end up here, because we have blocked the path. Now, those who turn, they just hit this small triangle and turn left again and go into the portal. If we would have made one of them a slider, like the earlier dude, he would now have sli slidden down here and turned and gone around endlessly and we don't want that. But this way we save all the lemmings without too much trouble, like 30 seconds remaining on the clock. There's really only one horrible position there, actually. I thought it was a very bad level, but yeah. There's really only one bad place, and that's the swinging chain. The next level we're gonna be playing in the next episode, which is gonna be 9 and 10, we're gonna be finishing the Space Tribe. It's gonna be inside the Steel Box. Yeah. But so, I'll see you guys later, next time. Goodbye.